In this paper, we propose the framework that combines online human state estimation, action recognition, and motion prediction to enable early assessment and prevention of walker biomechanical risk during lifting tasks. Walker-related musculoskeletal disorders still represent a societal challenge that threaten the health conditions of walking adults. Among the large variety of their causes, payload lifting tasks in industrial environments play a pivotal role in determining poor economic conditions that favor such musculoskeletal disorders. In the context of human-robot collaboration, for instance, during a collaborative lifting task, preventing human risk is also an interesting topic for designing human-centered control strategies. However, the existing ergonomic techniques, for example, the revised Nash lifting equation and the rapid upper limb assessment, are often costly and inconvenient to apply for dynamically changing working environments. Therefore, our question is, given a set of variable sensor measurements, can we develop quantitative scalable systems that online monitor human economics and potentially alert the worker before endangering health conditions? The answer is yes, by utilizing the revised Nash lifting equation. Firstly, we can decompose a lifting activity into a series of continuous single actions, such as standing, squatting, rising, and back to standing again. Then, at the time step ti, the action of rising is detected. We read the current sensor measurements and hence determine the original status of Nash equation. Until next action at time step tj is recognized, each following moment ti plus n can be regarded as a temporary destination status of Nash equation, which means we are able to compute instantaneous lifting risk by repeatedly applying Nash equation. Based on this idea, we implemented a framework that consists of four modules. On top left, we can see the sensing system, which collects IMU measurements and contact ranges. The human state estimation module takes variable data as inputs and computes joints configurations as well as contact forces by solving inverse kinematics and inverse dynamics problems. The action recognition and the motion prediction is achieved by a learning-based method called the guided mixture of experts, which is trained offline and can be inferred online. At online inference stage, the guided mixture of experts receive data from human state estimation module and predicts both action recognition and the future motions. The Nash geometric multipliers are retrieved from the network predictions, which enables the computation of lifting risks for a given future time horizon. Once any potential risk is detected in this time horizon, a corresponding command will be sent to the haptic actuator integrated in the IMU node that is mounted on human pelvis. We validated the effectiveness of our proposed framework in a multiple real-time lifting task scenarios. In the first task, the human subject is asked to lift the payload of 10 kg from the ground to a platform at a height of about 1 meter in a natural and steady way. In our test, we only consider lifting risks during the rising process for simplification. As we can see in the monitor, the gray avatar reflects the human current motions, while the red avatar represents the predict motions in the future 0.6 second. On the right side, this shows the action recognition res result and the rotation of left knee joint around y-axis in real time. At the bottom, we can see, com observe the lifting risk changing during the rising process. In the second task, we lift the payload of 5 kg from ground to the platform at a height of 84 cm. The other parameters remain unchanged. As we can see, the estimated lifting risk during rising action is slightly smaller than the values computed by the conventional Nash equation and is actually not a constant during the whole process, which shows the importance to monitor the real-time economics. Thank you very much for your watching. For more details regarding the source code and the paper, please scan the QR code shown in the video.